Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome to another Fate Grand Order video, and uh, it is another servant review. And we're going to be talking about Ediza, the brand new Pretender Four Star Welfare Servant, uh, also known as Elizabeth Bothery in a way. Uh, she is. A lily, and she's actually really cute. I actually really like the poppy, bright pink colors that she has there. But um, let's go ahead and check out her stats, skills, and uh, everything else here. So starting off with her attack, 9,639, 11,055, and then uh, max grilled and everything like that, 13,703, and 15,754. Pretty solid. Um, and then we have her, uh, her stats here on star absorption 104 star generation 20 percent mp charge on attack 0.77 and mp charge on defense uh three percent okay that's pretty good but looking at her uh command cards two quicks one arts two buster uh kind of sad that she is um she only has one art in her deck. Four, three, three hits aren't the greatest in my opinion as well. But um, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more here. So her attack, uh, this is actually uh, a charisma. So increased party's attack for three turns. That's great to see. She uh, she is a, um, a party buffer. Um, and then increase the critical damage of allies with lawful alignment for three turns. Okay, a lot of alignment stuff going on here recently. Uh, increase the MP damage of allies with neutral alignment for three turns. Increase the MP generation rate for allies for with chaotic alignment for three turns. Grant party Mount Liang trait except self for three turns. Increase on critical star absorption for one turn. So the attack up is 10 to 20 uh, lawful crit damage is 10 to 20 oh, so basically everything is 10 to 20 and then the star absorption is 300% to 500% okay so first of all um, we got to talk about those alignment buffs so um, there are obviously a great amount of lawful neutral and chaotic uh, servants in this game uh, there is not that many servants with all three there are not that many servants with uh, to wait, I actually don't know if they're the servant with all three. I have to look that up. I actually can't remember if they're the servant with all three. But um, I I do know there are servants with lawful and chaotic, and I do know there's servants with like lawful neutral, chaotic neutral kind of thing. Um, but um, if a servant does have all three alignments, I mean that's a huge buff, right? But um, if they only have two, that's still like forty percent basically. So um, in a way, I actually think this is a this is a pretty um, solid buff here uh for um the allies so that's actually really cool uh then second skill um battery um so an np charge gauge of mount oh okay so the servants have okay so she's like specifically for mount liang uh oh, oh okay okay so she can grant the party mount liang trait okay that's good that's good <laughs> i was gonna say um Okay, that's good. So basically, you do need to use the first skill in order to use the second skill. So make sure you do that. And then um, the MP battery is going to be 10 to 20%. And then the HP is going to be 1,000 to 2,000. And then a 500% 500 chance to reduce the debuff resistance of Mount Liang allies by 20% for three turns. Demerit. Okay whatevers. Uh, but okay, that, that makes sense. Um, okay, that, that's pretty cool interesting and then a third skill increase own quick and buster performance for three turns uh, 20 to 30 and then increase own critical damage for three turns okay so in a way she is a support attack hybrid got it right. makes sense and then passive skills increase own critical damage by nine percent increase own critical star generation rate by six percent increase own arts performance by six percent okay the arts I, I guess that that's nice and everything um and then a pen skill she is basically a uh, stronger against assassins all right looking at her mp um it is a buster type mp so i kind of wish she had more you know um more hits on the buster cards here on her command card but uh looking at the mp so deals damage to all enemies so aoe and then reduces their defense by 10 percent for three turns so this looks like it activates after the mp um not bad and then overcharge effect increase on critical star generation rate for one turn activates first and then increase on mp damage for one turn activates first okay so if you overcharge which most likely you will uh you'll get that extra 30 percent damage and the extra 150 percent when it comes to star generation all right 
Um, I, I think she's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think she's, you know, um, amazing, unfortunately. Uh, I, I would probably still give her like a B though. Um, just because, uh, I, I think this is pretty good. This, uh, the skills are pretty good in my opinion. And, um, it would have been cool if she can, you know, give this to someone, but it's her own self. Um, but yeah, she can still buff herself with this right here. Uh, this is allies. So obviously, uh, that does not include herself, which sucks. Uh, but no, I, I think she's good. But again, um, I don't think she's like groundbreaking, but I do think this is great to get a welfare pretender because, you know, not everyone has Oberon, not everyone has, um, the four star pretender. Why can't I remember her name? Uh, Hifashion. Uh, so yeah, this is actually pretty nice to see uh, another pretender come in. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's pretty solid. But that's my little review on um, Ediza here. Uh, I think she's cute. I think she's, oh, you know, okay at, at, at least and good at most. I don't think she is great or groundbreaking or anything like that. And, um, I mean, it's, it's just nice to get a free pretender, basically. But, uh, yeah, that's basically going to be about it for Ediza here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment down below and tell me what you guys think about her. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.